Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic Bakugan unboxing. And also, the light is shining through the window perfectly to where it's like gleaming on the setup right now. Which is really, really cool. Uh, yeah. So, just gotta adjust the mat a little bit. There we go. But, we got this dude. Gotta get out of the bubble wrap. I can just get it out this way. Yep. <clears throat> And we got this, man. Check it out. It is the awesome Bakugan Geogon Rising Arliss Demorc Ultra. I guess it's fitting the light coming in because it's Arliss, the light, the golden light. Yeah, man. But Demorc in Arliss is here looking so, so sick, man. Um, yeah, you already know. Arliss is one of my favorite uh, factions. It's my, honestly, my favorite faction. Um, I love Pyrus and Darkest as well. But Arliss is my hands-down favorite. I hope Spin Master makes more cards and more uh, Arliss like actual like action cards because I want to make more mono Arliss because they're like Arliss a lot <laughs> but yeah anyways Denmark is looking so so cool in Arliss check out all the gold the silver even the gold and silver paint with it as well there's the artwork for it looking like an absolute beast and yeah I'm hoping that has some pretty good stats with it because I definitely want to use this thing man it looks so awesome in Arliss but, yeah, so we got the uh, Ultra Course Character Card, Ability Card, Gate Card, Instruction Sheet, and the Rule Sheet. And then we got all of the uh, Bakugan for this wave. So, Diamond Nilius Ultra being the Diamond. The Elemental Rare being Ventus Serpilius Ultra. Uh, Chaos for Rascal Ultra. Arliss Demorc Ultra. Aqua's Apophix Ultra, which Apophix looks so cool. Um, Ventus Serpilius Ultra. Uh, Pyrus Tornoid Ultra. That's actually a typo. It's not Fennica's Tornoid, but Pyrus Tornoid Ultra. And then Darkest Pinsatar Ultra. It's looking really, really sick in uh, Darkest. But yeah, man. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. All right. <clears throat> Boom. Get that out of there. I have so much to clean up in here. It's funny because I got back from vacation and literally was cleaning up big time because I had a lot of just wrappers and stuff in here. And then sure enough, doing all these unboxings because stuff I've gotten online and also like stuff from vacation and it's making a mess again <laughs> but yeah oh, there we go okay I think that's the only strip for it yeah there we go get that out of there and then do 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 I gotta get all of the the cards and such out of here all right let's see if if I can the plastic in the way all right boom um, and then the cores, get those cores up out of there, put those out to the side, get that paper out of there. Alright, so, first of all, we gotta look at the gate card that comes with it, and it's Arliss Treteris Ultra, so we've seen this before, uh, Pyrus, Ventus, Arliss all getting big time boost to 700, Aquas, Chaos, Darkest, not so much, all getting reductions of minus 200, so, yeah, showing that Arliss balance for sure. Um, and then we got the cores here. And, oh, we got a Flame Fist. And we got a uh, Helix. I was going to say Magic Shield, but yeah. Helix. Um, which, that's really, really nice. Hopefully, it has some pretty good uh, B power with it. Because if so, like, this thing definitely has some potential. Because having that, that Helix there, that's great. Uh, plus 600 minus 3. Yes, that's the best one. Uh, yeah, I'd say that and uh, plus 500 minus 1 as well. They're both the best uh, Helixes. Helixes are just weird. Then we got the Flame Fist here. Plus 6 for the damage. All right, that's a lot of damage, though. But yeah, man, so now getting into Demorc itself. Arliss Demorc Ultra looking so awesome. It looks so good in Arliss. Uh, all that gold. It's got the metallic gold for the claws. A little bit of metallic silver as well. Got the gray right there. Uh, for the wings, we've got uh, gray plastic as well, like a silver gray plastic. Same thing for the tail. Same thing for like the shoulder plates right there. Got the gold for the horns, the gold paint for the horns. Got the silver for the face and the gold for the eyes, gold chest plate. Got the gray plastic right there. Um, and then the legs, of course, having the metallic silver and the metallic gold paint. Looking absolutely amazing, man. Denmark looking so cool and Arliss. But let's see, where the heck is that uh, B power? I hope it has some pretty good uh, B power with it. Let's see if I can if I can find it. That is um, maybe maybe not. I mean, worst case if I can't, uh, I'll just go to the card. But yeah, man. Um, not not seeing it. Not wait wait no no that's the code. Uh, wait what? What? Where is it? I'll find it. But you, you know, yeah. But it is looking really really awesome, dude. So, gotta show uh, how to close it up, of course. So, let's see here. 
uh, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. If I can get the if I can get the toes, there we go. Uh, there's the toes. That that went a little too far. There we go. Um, and then head back, and then of course that tail part. So there we go, man. That holds everything together. And there it is, Arliss Demork Ultra, looking so sick in the closed form. It looks so so epic. All the gold, the silver as well, metallic gold paint, metallic silver paint, and the little bit of the gray black as well. Looking so so cool. But yeah, man. So now we gotta get into the cards. All right, so, yo, it comes with this crazy bullion blast card. Uh, yeah, GG's, a, it seems like it's gonna be an insane set, no doubt. Look at this, bullion blast, it's eight cost, but it gives you plus 2,000 Bs and 10 damage. This card is not playing around at all. You air zero this thing out, you better run for the hills. Your opponent better run for the hills at least. That's a lot of B power, that's a lot of damage, you're getting a lot of both. And yeah, an Oratoa looking like a beast right there, man. Just looking so, so cool. Um... Yeah, really powerful card. This makes me want the GG set that much more, man, because it's the mysterious GG set. We have not seen much from it, just the cards that we've seen from uh, the Bakugan and the Geogon, you know. But, yeah, definitely got to see the GG set. Hopefully, we'll see Shields of Astroia get released, and then also Secrets of the Geogon and the GG set. Definitely want to see them all, especially like the GG set. Like, this is an insane card, dude. Eight costs, but that's a lot that it does. You air zero it out, you better run for the hills. And yo, Demork, yes, it's got an awesome effect with it. Okay, so uh, Arliss Demork Ultra 503. If it lands on a fist, it gets plus 600, so that's really epic. So, I mean, it can go up to uh, 1100 and zero out if you're using the helix, you know, or a thousand and two. Um, or if you use a flame fist with it, it's getting up to. 1350 I believe yeah 1350 and six so it's a break in a thousand regardless that is an epic balance for it no doubt about it dude that is so so awesome Demork is not playing around in our list and I'm so glad it has this power because Demork's such an awesome awesome Bakugan some of the Demorks aren't the absolute craziest power wise honestly but uh this one definitely is not playing any games at all the extra boost so glad to see that man in a flame fist deck it'll be really nice no doubt <clears throat> plus the artwork for it like check it out right there uh sitting on the beach that's where i was last week uh you know this past weekend on the beach it was it was incredible i still like i got so much inspiration from it and yeah i'm sure denmark's getting some serious inspiration to get more power while training on that beach but yeah you can see the pier in the background We're looking so so cool so now last but not least we got to get into the opening action for this bad boy so arliss uh denmark ultra there we go three Two, one, and brawl. And oh, it wanted it. All right, let's see. Can I get it with the roll back? Oh, oh, almost. Gonna roll hard enough. Well, there we go. <laughs> it got it open. Um, just standing on its tail, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, if it does so in a brawl and you have two cores, it's picking up both. I ain't playing no games at all. Like, you know, ultras tend to come with really, really strong magnets. So if it lands that way and double cores, it's gonna be that much more dangerous, man. Imagine to pick up both of those. It would get the bonus from the flame fist, but also the additional uh B power from the helix. That would be insane, dude, for it for sure. But yeah, guys, anyways, that is gonna do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Geogon Rising Arliss Demork ultra hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm about to here.